A treehouse. Lord Tear, you're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. Well, I'll be. You hold still. Yep. Oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, dear. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr, sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey, come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. And I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct a bed. <laughs> Don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space would be unsettling. Do you have a broom closet? Yes. But it's where I keep my brooms. That's all I need. To be honest, it's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hardtack. Hardtack. Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. I. With a pinch of salt? Well, I'll see what I can find. <sighs> Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the All Father's eye on me. So that's what's left of Tear, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? He really did it. Tear really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? 